A while back I posted a video where I was out in the woods and in that video I had a firearm on my side and I got a couple questions and I think a couple comments left under the video about what kind of gun it was and the holster it was in. The gun is a Ruger P95. It's an inexpensive gun that Ruger makes. It's a 9mm and um, comes with, it came with two uh, 15 round mags and I think I only paid about, I paid about $250 for this thing new. I got it at dealer price and um, so uh, it's a nice little pistol and the holster is one that I made uh, along with a matching mag pouch. wasn't in the video but I thought I'd bring it out just to show it. And uh, so in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about both of these holsters and how I made them. I bought a bag of scrap leather for $10 at a craft store and uh, used watercolor paper to make the templates. Uh, when you do the templates, you just uh, trace out the gun and then allow a half inch for the seam the, for it to wrap around the side of the gun. And then from there you can design the shape of the holster however you want. That part sticking off the top is for the part that kind of covers up the hammer on your body side of the holster. I first stitched on a piece of leather to act as a reinforcement on the front of the holster. To attach them together, I used rubber cement and applied it only where it was going to be stitched together. This is the gun in the holster before I formed the leather to its shape. The awl I bought from Harbor Freight for about 5 or $6, and it worked pretty good. Once you're done, you get the leather kind of wet, and then using a bone tool or just the back of a Sharpie marker or something, you kind of form it around to the gun, and once it dries, it really holds its shape. And um, in the trigger guard there, you can really see where it's kind of pinched in, and that's what creates sort of the retention on the gun to where it just doesn't flop out without having a strap on it. I wanted to leave the uh, leather pretty raw, so I just ended up applying a Johnson Paste Wax as a finish, and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I was pretty excited about working with leather, so about a week after I made the holster, I made this little mag pouch just for fun, and it uh, ended up being a little easier than the holster. This clip shows where the bluing has been rubbed off inside the holster a little bit, and uh, but that's something you have to be careful with with any holster. Regardless of whether or not your holster looks good, it's important that it works. Um, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called camber or something like that. The tilt of the holster, the forward tilt, to where it's a little easier to sort of quickly grab and pull out of the holster comfortably. And uh, so I just, when I was making my templates, had the gun pushed down under my belt and sort of tilted it back and forth until I liked the way it felt. And the mag pouch is more of a novelty item. I wouldn't ever carry it around really other than if I was just shooting the gun, but uh, there it was all strapped onto me. And here's just sort of a bounce test to show that the gun stays in the holster pretty good. And it's kind of corny, but here's some speed test shots to show the holster's speed since it doesn't have a strap on it that you're sort of fumbling around with. And here's the mag pouch function. It uh, has the bullets facing backwards to where you don't have to flip around the magazine or anything. Well, that wraps up today's video talking about the homemade leather holster. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see a couple more pictures, go on over to my Facebook by clicking on the link in the description. I'll be posting on a couple pictures on there, so give it a thumbs up and like my Facebook page. Other than that, I'll see you next time, and thank you for watching.